Hello everyone, my name is Nikita Goswami and today in this video we are going to discuss the PYQs, the previous year questions of Protesta. So Monera we have done and PYQ of Monera is also done. So we have covered the Protesta part and today we are going to discuss about the previous year questions on Protesta that came in NEET. Right. So the first question that we are going to discuss about came in NEET 2018. The question says, Select the wrong statement. We have to find out the wrong statement. The first statement says, cell wall is present in members of fungi and plantae. This is true because we know about five kingdom classification and five kingdom classification. There are five kingdoms. The kingdoms are Monera, Protista, Fungi, <coughs> Plantae, and Animalia. These are the five kingdoms. Uh, all the organisms on earth, they are divided in these five kingdoms. So we know that fungi and plantae, both of them have cell wall. So this we discussed in the first video of biological classification. Right. So this is correct statement. Next statement says mushrooms belong to basidiomycetes. This is also true. So we have not covered fungi yet. So, we, in the next video, we are going to cover fungi. In there, you will learn that the fungus, those comes under basidiomycetes. So, this is also correct statement. The third statement says, Pseudopodia are locomotory and feeding structures of sporozoans. This is not correct. Why? Because we discussed about protista in the previous video. We saw that the protista, it is divided into subdivision, subcategories, right? In there, what came? There came rhizophytes, there came dinoflagellate, uh, slime molds, and uh, what is euglenoid, and also protozoans. So, in protozoans, in protozoans, there are different divisions. So, in these division, one division is sporozoan sporozoan so we know that the sporozoan that the example of sporozoan was the malaria causing parasite that is a example of sporozoan right but the pseudopodia that this that this statement is talking about that pseudopodia comes under amoeboid amoeboid protozoan so amoeboid protozoan amoeboid protozoan they have Pseudopodia. So, pseudopodia, this is a false feet. This is false feet. So, they have pseudopodia. So, this statement, uh, statement C is incorrect. So, we have been asked to correct, to select the wrong statement. So, C will be our answer because this is the wrong statement. And the last statement, let's see that also. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell in all kingdoms except Monera. This is also true because we know that the mitochondria, so if we look at this five kingdom classification, the monera, it is only prokaryote. It is only having cells of prokaryotes. Rest of the kingdoms, they are having eukaryotic cells. They are having eukaryotic cells. So in the eukaryotic cells only we can see membrane bound organelles. So, mitochondria, it is also a membrane-bound organelle. So, the mitochondria, we can see mitochondria in all these kingdoms, but not in Monera. Right? Mitochondria is not present in Monera because it is a prokaryote. And so, we can say that mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell in all kingdoms except Monera. So, our answer will be answer C. The next The next question is from NEET 2018 again. The question says, which of the following organisms are known as chief producers in the ocean? The options are dinoflagellate, diatoms, cyanobacteria and euglenoids. Right? Okay. So, in the previous video, we discussed about it. We discussed that um, in the, so in the ocean, in the ocean current, diatoms, they float, right? Dinoflagellate, they also float, right? So, these two categories of protista, which floats as 
planktons they float as planktons so what are planktons planktons are the microscopic organisms which are floating in the upper surface of the water current so those are called planktons so dinoflagellate and diatoms both are planktons and both comes under protista but the major the majority is diatom so the question is which of the following organism are known as chief producers in the ocean so these diatoms when they float these diatoms are also autotrophs these diatoms are also autotrophs that means it can produce or synthesize its own food so these diatoms at dinoflagellates both are what both are producers who are producers producers are those organisms which can synthesize their own food inside their body right so both of these they both of them are autotrophs so both of them can produce or synthesize food inside their body uh, but the majorly known the majorly known chief producer the chief producer the most of the producers of the oceans those are the diatoms they are chief producers of the ocean so these are the plant diatoms these are plankton they float and they are autotrophic so they can make their own food and other organisms which are larger than diatom diatoms are unicellular one cell right so a larger than diatom small insects small fishes they do eat up they do eat up diatoms and take their own food so they are heterotrophs and they are dependent on the autotrophs which are the producers and the chief producers of oceans are diatoms okay so this will be the answer next question the next question is also from nick 2018 the question says ciliates differ from all protozoans in which one so what are ciliates let's go back to the subcategories of protista one subcategory is protozoan one subcategory is protozoan in protozoan there are different parts different divisions different groups of protozoan so first one is amoeboid amoeboid protozoan second one is flagellated and there is also ciliated protozoan there is also ciliated protozoan these ciliated protozoan from the name we can understand that they must have cilia in their body so they must have cilia in their body these are the cilia okay we learned that the example was paramecium right so these are the cilia okay now the question is ciliates they differ from all other protozoans so these are uh, amoeboid flagellated and also sporozoans are there so how is the ciliate different from all other protozoans so let's look at the options the first option says using using flagella for locomotion so ciliated protozoan they do not use flagella the flagellated protozoan they use flagella right they look like this and they have a flagella for locomotion so this is not the answer second one is having a contractile vacuole for removing excess water so what is contractile vacuole so contractile vacuole is the excretory part is done by this contractile vacuole so this you can see here what happens the excretory part the water or the excretory products of the cell comes inside this vacuole that is called contractile vacuole and this vacuole pushes the and contracts at the and pushes the excretory product excess water the excretory products of the cell so the contractile vacuole we can see contractile vacuole in many of the protozoan and amoeba also the contractile vacuole is present so we cannot say that the ciliates are different from others because of contractile vacuole so this is also not the answer the third is using pseudopodia for capturing food this is absolutely not because pseudopodia we know that amoeboids they have pseudopodia ciliates they do not have pseudopodia so the last option is having two types of nuclei so in case of ciliates we see there are two types of nucleus one is macronucleus one is macronucleus another small nucleus is also present that is called micronucleus so this is our answer 
So D is the answer. Ciliates differ from all other protozoans in having two types of nuclei. So this is our answer. Next question. The next question is from me 2016, phase 2. The question says, select the wrong statement. We have to find out the wrong statement. First statement says, the walls of diatoms are easily destructible. This is absolutely wrong because we learned in the previous video that the diatoms, they are, the diatoms, they have walls like this, which looks like a soapbox, right? So this is the cell wall of the diatom. And in the cell wall of the diatom, there is silica present. There is silica present. And the presence of silica makes its uh, cell wall of the diatom indestructible. So this is not destructible, right? So the first statement, the walls of the diatoms are easily destructible. This is the wrong statement. Okay, so this will be the answer because they asked us to find the wrong statement. Let's look at the other statements also. The second statement says, diatomaceous earth is formed by the cell walls of the diatom, which is correct. We know that after the death of these diatoms, they, they fall down to the ocean floor and there the cell walls of the diatoms get stored and makes the earth and that is called diatomaceous earth, right? Okay, the next option says, diatoms are cheap producers in the oceans. We just discussed in the previous question. This is also correct. Diatoms are microscopic and float passively in water. Yes, they float passively in water. They are planktons. Plankton, planktons are those microorganisms which floats in the currents of the water. And diatoms are microscopic because we know the protista, the kingdom protista. It contains all the organisms which are unicellular. All the organisms of protista are unicellular. So unicellular, of course, they are microscopic. We cannot see them. So all these are correct, correct statements and this is the incorrect statement. So this will be our answer. Next question. The next question is from NEET 2016, phase 1. The question says, Chrysophyte, euglenoid, dinoflagellate, slime molds are included in the kingdom dash. So this is very, very the easiest question ever, right? So we already discussed in the previous video that chrysophyte, euglenoid, dinoflagellate, slime molds, these are all, the, these all are the subcategories of the kingdom protista. Of the kingdom protista. The answer is very easy. The answer is protista. So this is all about the questions of the PYQs, the previous year questions that came in need from the portion of protista. We have already discussed monera. This one was about protista. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the fungi. Okay then, bye-bye. See you in the next video.